A major cigar manufacturer steps into the boutique cigar arena. Will it emerge victorious? I'm Bob Woods, publisher and managing editor of Stogie, as well as National Cigar Examiner at Examiner.com. And you've got it dialed into the only weekly video cigar review show that has my ugly mug on it, the Stogie Video Cigar Review. Today we are going to um, we're going to review another cigar that has been nominated by a uh, reader of Stogie uh, through Twitter. That's actually part of one of two contests that we're running right now, but we'll get to that a little later in the show. But for now, uh, this week's winner is Anthony Lund. He is uh, Taj Lund, T-A-J Lund. I don't even know if you can even pronounce that one out loud. But anyhow, Anthony, here's your nomination. It's the Altatus Warlock, a nice Maduro looking stick. It's a, uh, the one that we're reviewing rather, is a Toro six inches by 54 ring gauge. Its origin is Nicaragua. The filler is Nicaraguan and Dominican with the binder on uh, Nicaragua. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Cubano. Uh, we paid about $8.50 for it at Dabitus Cigars, uh, this time up in Ellicott City, Maryland. The Warlock is made by well-known Nicaraguan cigar maker Omar Ortez for Altadas USA. Now, uh, I gotta read you some of the ad copy here. Uh, I've got it scripted just because it's, uh, it's that good. In, uh, in some of the recent ads, Altadas calls the Warlock an exotic fuller-bodied stick that's devilishly good and that connoisseurs of robust rustic smokes will be left spellbound by Warlock's powerfully intoxicating flavor. Definitely sounds like that uh, Altadis' Mad Men might have been hitting the intoxicants a little bit when they wrote that, if you know what I mean. But anyhow, no matter what, we are going to uh, try the stick out and see if it lives up not only to the uh, ad copy, but to the hype that has surrounded it. And speaking of intoxicants, we usually have some type of drink or libation with our cigars here at the Stogie Video Cigar Review. They don't have to be alcoholic all the time. In fact, last week we did a coffee that was very, very good with the, uh, with the stick that we had. This week though, we are heading back to the suds. This one is the uh, Sierra Nevada 30th anniversary. And I'm gonna try to open this thing up at the same time as I'm talking about it. Um, it's definitely a little more on the expensive side. It's it's about 11, anywhere between 11 and $13 for 750 milliliters. It's also got, um, wow, that's just like champagne. It's also got uh, a little over 9% alcohol, which is a little more than your standard beers. You don't really notice the alcohol though, except for a little bit on the finish. I actually tried it yesterday. So uh, this isn't a, uh, this isn't a uh, virgin uh, tasting for me. Anyhow, I really liked it too. It's got notes of um, a chocolate and cocoa. I'm sorry, chocolate and cocoa are the same thing. Uh, more like chocolate and coffee getting a little bit of licorice too off of it. And then when you taste it, yeah, just like it was yesterday, uh, definitely a bit more uh, coffee and uh, if you like bitter chocolate, you know, the really dark extra, extra dark chocolate, you're definitely going to like this stuff as well. If you like uh, milk chocolate, Maybe not so much. Um, this beer is a bit like a cigar, actually, in that it's made out of Sierra Nevada's Oki Bigfoot beer, uh, their Celebration Ale, which if you've had that is very good, and some of their Fresh Pale Ale. They've actually hopped that up a little extra, and it's in the way. The reason why I say it's like a cigar is because it's like wrapper, binder, and filler. There's three different elements, you know, going in to make one great beer. So uh, we're gonna have this with our uh, with our Warlock. And by the way, uh, this was suggested by our good friends at uh, I Am Wine in the Maple Lawn Development in Fulton, Maryland. A uh, great bunch of guys there. And uh, that's where me and the wife go all the time. It's our go-to place for wine, beer, and spirits. So with that, we're gonna get on to the actual cigar review.
Looking at the cigar, it's definitely a bold statement. Uh, the the actual uh, ring on it is uh, is very nice, just as Warlock on it, you know, very plain, almost understated nowadays, considering some of the uh, some of the uh, rings that you see on the cigar. Uh, it's a Maduro wrapper, slightly veiny, not too much so. Uh, very uh, very much leathery, uh, dark chocolate in appearance. Uh, the whole chocolate thing should make it go really well with the uh, with the beer that we've selected. So in terms of aesthetics, we're definitely going to give it a 4.4. .4. Uh, you look at this on the shelf and you're going to want to smoke it. Construction wise, it's a very solid stick. Uh, nicely made. It's got a firm feel. Nothing rough, nothing mushy or anything like that. Uh, the cap is definitely on flush and secure. Uh, you know, it's just what you'd expect from an Omar Ortez cigar uh, that's commissioned by a giant like Altadis who has a lot of money to throw around to do it right when it comes to a cigar. Um, also, uh, I can understand why this is making a, a splash in the boutique cigar category. So, in terms of construction as well, we're going to give this puppy a very, very solid 4.4. Pre-burn time, new lighter, triple torch. Let's fire this puppy up. Oh, the triple torch. It's got a woody scent, a little bit of leather as well. Uh, very tasty, and we're just gonna say it's mm, mm good. And God, I hope that isn't trademarked. One thing I am doing with these uh, holiday contest selections that I've been making based on your nominations is that I've been trying cigars that um, I haven't actually had myself yet. So each one of these is definitely a new experience when I'm having them on camera with you. With everything that I've seen and read about it so far, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So let's do it. Something about a triple torch cigar that just boom, lights it right up, doesn't it? Uh, in terms of the flavor, this is um, very good. It's kind of billed as a uh, full cigar. I'm thinking it's actually medium, at least at the start. Um, getting definitely some coffee, some cedar. It's actually a little creamy and um, yeah, actually a little bit nutty too. And speaking of the pre-burn, it's coming right in my face a little bit just because of the way the wind is out here. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely mouth-watering in terms of the, in terms of the actual scent of the smoke as well. So um, we're going to say that it's a very, very nice start to this cigar, and uh, I'm definitely going to give it a 4.3. And now we're going to uh, have a little bit of uh, this with it. Uh, Oh yeah, that pairs very well with it. In fact, with, wow, with the cigar, I'm actually getting a little more of the IPA flavor that I wasn't getting before, considering that two thirds of the, well, actually maybe all of this kind of IPA base, I'm definitely getting a bit more hops out of the beer as well. Uh, if you like IPAs, you like hoppy beer, you're definitely gonna like this combination. So uh, I get to do probably the worst part of the review now. I get to stop the camera and actually enjoy this thing for a little while. And uh, I will be back at the midpoint with the the, uh, with the Midway uh, summary. Wow. A really good cigar, a really good beer, Tom Clancy on the Kindle, and uh, lithium is in the lithium channel on uh, Sirius XM. And uh, it's been a really good afternoon so far, uh, very much enhanced by the cigar, which is turning out to be very good. It's um, starting out, I'd say a little more medium. I don't remember if I mentioned that, thanks to the beer probably, but um, it's definitely turning into more of a full stick. And um, speaking of the beer, it's excellent and everything else, but I almost wish I was drinking coffee right now because uh, the coffee is really getting pronounced in terms of flavor here. Um, there's actually a little bit of sweetness coming on. I don't know if that's because of the beer or not, but it's, it's definitely just a slight undercurrent of sweetness. Uh, there's still a little bit of chocolate there too, so it's kind of coffee slash mocha, but more uh, coffee than chocolate. So uh, a coffee would actually pair excellent uh, with this stick. You know, definitely a, uh, a more fuller flavored coffee 
with this because uh, a lighter coffee is just going to get blown away by the stick. So I'm um, liking it so much that I'm going to give it a 4.5 at the midway point. And um, hang on, we're just going to... Mm, definitely, most definitely. So I'm going to get back to reading and listening and uh, see you at the end uh, to wrap up this cigar and to let you know what's going on uh, contest-wise as we roll on through the end of the year. It's time to wrap up the Warlock by Altatus here. Uh, the sweetness, it's gone as I kind of thought it would be actually. Um, Some of the uh, some of the cedar slash wood and a little bit of nuttiest nuttiness rather is back nuttiness, but um, it definitely still has the uh, the major coffee going on. It's definitely still full flavored and um, a very 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 good stick. So when it comes to the uh, end in terms of flavor, we're definitely going to rate it another 4.4. Fantastic stick and um, everything is all good for it. In terms of the whole finger burner thing, um, this is definitely a nubbable cigar, if that's even a word, but um, it's not getting harsh as you get down to the end. The, uh, the flavor definitely carries through. So, um, you know, if, if you like the full body and you like to get as much, of a, uh, as much out of a cigar as possible, this one is most definitely a finger burner. You're gonna enjoy it all the way down to the end. So let's average out the ratings now. Don't even need a calculator for this one. Uh, this one comes in right at a 4.4. Very, very good stick. But the question now is, is it worth it? Because you can get a 4.4 stick, and if it's you know priced at $30, $40, if it's something that you're not normally gonna smoke any day, you know, it may not necessarily be a thumbs up stick. But uh, combining the 4.4 with the um, with the taste and the price and everything, uh, we're definitely going to give this one a thumbs up. If uh, 850 isn't too much to uh, to go out and invest even in just a couple of sticks for you, then you're definitely going to get a lot of enjoyment out of this. Definitely a thumbs up. Now that being said, if you're a fan of lighter tasting uh, cigars like Macanudo or something like that, and believe me, there's nothing wrong with lighter tasting sticks. In fact, I like them a lot too. It's just that. You know, it's winter here, it's definitely cooler, definitely uh, in terms of the uh, weather conditions lends itself, the, the taste that we're doing lends itself to a uh, heavier tasting cigar to so just kind of, you know, warm up the insides basically. Uh, that's why we're doing a lot of heavier cigars. So um, if, you're, if you're a lighter stick fan, this isn't, uh, this isn't the one for you, but if you like fuller fla medium flavors to fuller flavors, or you're like me, you like one that starts medium, and then as you get into it, it, uh, it gets even more fully flavored and just gets better, then, um, then the Warlock from Altatus is most definitely the stick for you. I would highly recommend it. Okay, contest giveaway time. Uh, we're running two right now. Normally we just run one, but uh, with the holiday season, we're tossing in an extra one because we want to spread the wealth when it comes to cigars. So with that in mind, I'm gonna have to look at my computer screen here for a little bit just because um, there's a little bit of detail here and we're also gonna give you uh, website addresses to look up the full story so you don't have to listen to me all the time talking about it. So anyhow, let's go ahead and go with those. Uh, number one, we're still doing the uh, weekly cigar video review sweepstakes. Uh, the current one runs from from now through next Monday, December the 20th, and I'll announce the winner for that on Tuesday the 21st. For details on how to enter that, uh, you just go to www.stogied.com, stogied with a D, dot com, slash Warlock by Altshadis. That will give you the details on how to enter this week's contest. Very simple, just involves uh, you tweeting out a uh, very simple statement. Uh, you can enter as many times as you want. I draw those from an old cigar box and whoever wins, just wins basically. It's a beautiful thing. Wow, I can't put this down. For the holiday contest, what you need to do is you need to nominate a cigar that you want me to review. That's how Anthony is getting two Warlocks this week. We're currently in round three, which runs through this Friday, December the 17th. A new round starts on Saturday, December the 18th. I'll announce the winner for the round that we're currently in 
on Tuesday, the 21st, when the review for the cigar I pick from this current one runs that day. And you know, I know it's a little bit confusing, but it's all spelled out at www.stogied.com slash holiday contest three with the number three at the end. So again, it's www.stogied.com slash holiday contest number three. Well, I wish I could tell you what I was reviewing next week, but uh, we're waiting for all of the nominations to come in and I will pick the best one and smoke it for you next week. So until then, I'm Bob Woods from Stogied and Examiner.com, hoping that if you enjoy cigars, that you're able to torch them up, puff, and rotate as often as you want. Have a good week.